So I'm the self-proclaimed dog father of Harlem. They're the only thing in this world that really could understand us, but they don't really speak our language, but they understand what we feel and, you know, the mode that we're in and, you know, and all they want to do is just, you know, just be there for us. One of the reasons why I opened um, Harlem Doggy Day Spa is that my best friend who happens to be African-American said to me, like, African-Americans don't love their dogs. Like, they don't take care of their dogs the same way that all other races do. And my thesis was to prove him wrong. That's the perception that's out there that the world has shown. And I'm like, that's not possible. 70% of my clients are African-American who love their animals, who use our services for everything. And I'm giving his first bath. Look at this puppy. On March 20th, I had to let everyone go. I, it, it just made more sense for them to get unemployment. And I just started like a couple of weeks later and I started grooming dog one at a time just to help with my sanity because I think a lot of New York businesses we're feeling that same pressure and I can tell that that their income depends on the business and what they do, especially in the service industry, because I saw some of the restaurants, um, you know, owners, what they were doing was such an amazing thing where you think they lost all of their service business, but here they are now about to feed frontline workers. And that just hit me in a way like that is such an amazing selfless thing for people to do that I know that I had my obligation to do something too. And we set up a GoFundMe page and within two days, we raised over $10,000. just came up with this wild idea that I actually want to travel across the country, talk to other small business owners and help them because I have a business background. That it wasn't about the fact that we're African-American. It was more about we're connecting people. The fact that, you know, people of all races love animals but also showing African-American young kids that, hey, there is a career path in this industry that you could, if you're a dog lover and you, you wanna work with animals, you can actually have a career that you can make money and live up what you love. So that's always been my vision. It's just to connect people together, but also spread the awareness that, you know, as a young African-American, that I'm the first of my family, to own a business in Harlem. On top of all that, I'm doing something that what most people won't do. So like, this is such a rewarding to me and it's been such a blessing, but it also really saved me personally because for once, I really understand what my mission was outside of just being a business owner.